The following trailer is rated S for spoilers. In an entertainment landscape dominated by corporate IP, three filmmakers are fighting to keep cinema alive. Spielberg, Tarantino, and Nolan. But now, with just his third film, one more name joins that hallowed list. Le Carpetron, Duke Marriott. Le Carpetron, Duke Marriott. Nope. Saddle up for an old-fashioned black cowboy UFO movie about black cowboys making UFO movies the old-fashioned way that pulls triple duty as an action adventure. No! No! Sci-fi horror. And salute to analog filmmaking. No electricity. On top of Peel's trademark social commentary on how working in Hollywood is like being slowly digested by a giant butthole in the sky. <laughs> That tracks. Daniel Kaluuya stars as the other black OJ who owns a white Bronco. He's a horse trainer who'd rather talk to animals than people. That's good. And talks to people like they're animals. Yeah. Mm. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. His sister Emerald is your classic cloud chaser. I direct, write, produce, act. I do a little singing on the side. And cloud chaser. who hatches a plan to chase a cloud for cloud. She may seem annoying, and he may seem like the oldest young man alive. Mm -hmm. But under the surface, they're, well, they're still both kind of dicks. I can monitor the feeds remotely myself if you want, free of charge. Hell no. no. Dicks. Thrill as the Haywood siblings try to capture a UFO on film before it turns all their ranch into ketchup. Together with the help of Gen Z Millhouse, she booked a pilot on the CW, so <laughs> left me. And a man who eats an ashtray full of cigarettes for breakfast. He was a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people eater. They'll pull off a makeshift Western film shoot deadlier than Alec Baldwin on a budget. Shudder as Jordan Peele ratchets up the tension so slowly, the fakeouts are scarier than the actual monster. Because for most of the film, it's a cloud. There, it doesn't move. Exactly. And that cloud has been right there at least since I set the cameras up. I'll probably be looking at the same damn cloud every day for the last six months. A cloud ain't moved a goddamn inch. It's in the cloud! With tons of wind shots that are only scary if you've never seen the happening. But what you don't see is scarier than what you do, especially when your creature looks like, well, the fries that closed down in Burbank. Or in its final form, Squidward having a maternity shoot. Will someone please feed me a horse? I'm angry. Steven Yeun caught a break in 2015. Now it's payback time. He's a child actor who watched his co-stars get beaten to death by a chimpanzee, and that's still not his worst experience in front of a live audience. In this subplot that explores the predatory nature of Hollywood and how most of us are so emotionally stunted, we can only process trauma through old SNL references. Daryl Hammond, Anna Gosteyer, Sherry O'Terry, Scott Wolf is the host, he's me. But of course, the star of the sketch is Chris goddamn Katana as Gordy. I guess this business really does mess you up. Nod, swing. <laughs> so gaze in awe at a master of the craft absolutely flexing on the audience as Jordan Peele layers in jokes, images, and references that will only really hit when you watch multiple times. Keep our heads up out the clouds on this one. Adds little character details in the background, like Angel mining crypto in his bedroom. The dude even snuck in an Akira slide. <laughs>
Okay, look, I don't have a joke here or anything. I just think he's great. Now do the thing where people say the movie title out loud. <laughs> That's funny. Nope. 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 Mm -mm. Nope. Oh, 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 Starring Payback Horseman, Scream Queens, Oscar Baiting, Literally, Jupiter Ascending, Alien vs. Redditor, They Don't Live, Satinomorph, by Curious, I Hate Every Ape I See, From Chimp and A to Chimp Gord E, and I See What You Did There. Hey, 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 go look at my eyes, please. What are we doing here? Hey, 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 hey! And the little guys with the big eyes. They sleep horses, don't they? Was Gordy's home a Nickelodeon sitcom? Because then the weird foot stuff makes a whole lot more sense. Don't think, just do. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? I'm on a pilgrimage to see a moose. Praise Marty Moose.